<laughs> that was a bug. Oh my god. Okay. Hey guys. Um, so I am so excited that it is summer now and I am just, oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. You know, like there's always that one kid in that one class who always tries to suck up to the professor. So one of my classes, there's this guy, he's always like, ah, professor, professor, correct me if I'm wrong, but blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, really? Really? Why do you even exist? So... For this summer, I'm actually very excited because I am wanting to dress up more. I'm buying more summer outfits and summer clothes because usually I just wear shorts and a tank top and flip flops during the summer because it is ridiculously hot here. I really wanted to show you guys how to style different summer dresses and please don't kill me because most of the stuff that I got, if not all, I actually got it at Forever 21. Not all at once, but this was over a really, really long period of time. And it's just because their their clothes are just so easy to shop for. So once in a while when I really want to have more of like a girly look, I would go for this dress right here. So like I said, I just really wanted to keep this very simple and girly. I really like the corset top because it adds that very feminine feel. And the ruffles are just really playful and the floral print, oh my goodness, it is to die for. It reminds me of a Japanese painting. It's just so fun for the summer. For accessories, I decided to have Ray-Bans just because I thought it would really complete the look. And to add to more gold accents, I have a elephant ring and a phalange ring and a gold cuff to really tie everything in together. So. This next one, it makes me so happy. Um, it's this floral dress. Now just look at it, look at it. Doesn't just make you want to smile. Bold dresses, since they're such a big statement for itself, and if you don't want other things going on, then you just you just wear this and maybe something very simple. But for me, I, I just like chaos when I dress. I look pissed for some reason. I promise I'm not. Anyway, I decided to pair it with this pink lipstick so it complements the dress and these really fun Willy Wonka glasses. And I really like gold if you can't tell so I decided to pair it up with this just because I think gold and yellow really go well together. Also the ruffles really add volume to us flat chested girls. Or you could always stuff your bra. I'm just kidding. I also added the gold cuff to complement the necklace. And for shoes, I decided to wear these sandals with the gold buckle on the side. This reminds me of something that you would kind of see in like those fairy tales, Disney movies or whatever. I got this at Marshalls. Yeah, I know. When I saw it, I was like, <gasps> I got this for I think about $20. I was just so happy. I was literally skipping once I got outside of the store. I took apart this necklace and just made it into a halo to add on to that very romantic look. Also the chandelier earrings are white and I think white and muted colors like this peach color go very well together. And gold, of course, I know, surprise, surprise. For the waistline, I decided to add this belt just to define it a little bit more. And I love it because it's gold and I, I love gold too much. And I really like the way that it's cut out right here, how it is diagonally tiered. And when you walk, your legs just kind of pop through it, and it is just simply amazing. And for the shoes, I decided to go with these heels, because I love them so much, and like I said, I wear them all the time. This next dress, it is a magenta colored dress. I just really wanted to play with layers with this one, with the jewelry and yeah, just make it kind of like more me. So I topped this off with this vest right here and when I saw this vest, I swear, I heard the angels sing or something, they are just kind of like, this is meant for you. I'm like, okay, okay, I have my destiny, I got it. For this look, I decided to play more with silver and I paired it with this silver earring with feathered drops. To add on to the silver, I also have this cross and coin necklace. And I also paired it along with the vest. The vest is absolutely amazing. Look at the cutouts. Yeah, it looks like a spine, right? 
I can't even breathe just for the fact that it looks so freaking kick-ass. Since this look is more tough, I decided to pair it with armor rings. So like the peach dress, this also has an upside down V cutout, so when you walk, there's so much movement, so much flow going on. I wanted to show you guys two different ways how you can style it, like whether you're the more girly type or whether you're more of the edgy type. Just so, you know, just so I can show you guys that as long as you just have like the basic shirt or the basic dress or whatever, you can style it to however you want and make it look completely different from each other. That's how you make numerous outfits with just one piece of clothing. So that way people think that you have tons of clothes, but you really don't. I'm going for a softer look in this one, so I'm wearing this Charm Renaissance inspired necklace. For the dresses that cinch below the waist, you have to be careful with these because they can make your boobs look like they're sagging, so style them well. For the bracelets, I had the cup and the turquoise friendship bracelet, which I thought went really well with the dress. I decided to change up the look with this one and I paired it with some purple lipstick and armor piece. And to really cinch in that waist, I have the studded belt. For the bracelets, I decided to mix up some different textures. So I'm a very, very picky shopper, so whenever I find something that I like, I'm like, it's like finding a unicorn for me. Okay, bye!